What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Let me put the sun right in uh, behind me. That's a good place to start. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Rocky Vlogs. We're at Midwest Power. My first Midwest Power ever. And uh, he got lucky. Yeah. I guess uh, there's a mile long hike usually associated. Normally, is that where that guy's parked? Road. Yeah, parked on the road. And then you have to walk like half a mile and then you forget your igniter. And then you get to walk back. And then it rains. And then, yeah. But it's not doing any of that. So we're good. Nice. Knock on this synthetic wood. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Extreme Pro. Oh, Extreme. Is that not good? Well, uh, the Extremes are really high rate now, though. Yeah, you doubled up even. Oh, 170. Yeah, that'll be fine. Are you shooting in 4K? You trying to one-up me right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyway, this is uh, the anti-gravity group vlog video of sorts. And then, of course, I'll have a whole Midwest Power thing. Got the, uh, the specs of dust on the camera ready to roll. Get a lot of comments. Did you bring my tripod? Ooh. Oh, no, no Shoot. tripod? I have a tripod. <laughs> we don't use those. No. Potential spray. I've never heard of those. It was a joke. Hello? Those tripods are bad for rockets. Yeah, if people don't comment enough about it, I need to. Taylor, tell us what's going on with this banana, please. Um, it's a, it's the wet banana. <laughs> and hopefully it's going to fly perfect. Well, it's dry. I know. <laughs> what's it flying on? Uh, I got an H148. And we're hoping there's enough bass drag here with the banana peel <laughs> to make it slip right up in the air. I hate it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Taylor's Taylor's channel coming soon, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're working on it. Did you, you did a video on this, didn't you? I did. Yeah. If you it. if you finish it, I could give you a shout out right now. But since you didn't, I can't. Yeah. I mean, I guess potential I could, shout out. I could link your channel. Yeah. But uh, so we got that. Yeah, we just have to edit. It's fun, dude. Yeah. And then uh, we have, we didn't really talk about this motor very much um, on camera, but a lot of people took note of the fact that we swapped out the <laughs> M2500 that was supposed to be in the middle of the 12 inch Punisher and put an N in there instead. Um, we had a bit of an issue with this motor. Uh, you can see there's a pretty good gap there and the liner is the correct length and Gary and Carl from Aerotech both gave it the okay and said to just crank it down with a strap wrench. And uh, we were informed that there's been a couple issues with a couple of them and we saw one Kato at Airfest, so we swapped to the N. So now the M2500 is going to go in my V2, which is in here somewhere. The moving blanket, that's to keep his rocket safe, not mine. Okay, I did leave the retainer cap with you. I was gonna ask yeah. about that. I forgot my parachute, so I get to fly the pretty color one. He's just using all of my stuff. <laughs> rockets. I also didn't bring a tracker because I yeah. kind of forget that it's even though it's huge, it's gonna go like ten thousand feet. Well, we'll see, Braden's rocket flying assistant. Yeah, <laughs> my rocket. Uh, he see now he has YouTube. He, my rocket concierge. The YouTube guy doesn't even prep his own rockets yeah, no, anymore. I don't even build my own rockets. No. <laughs> hey, can you guys bring the motor and the rocket? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot my parachute too. And tracker. And tracker. <laughs> yeah, no problem. See, I don't even build rockets anymore. Eric Kainberg sold me this uh, competitor. So I have a four inch rocket to replace my Punisher that's in the desert somewhere in Idaho. This thing's cool. It's an old G10 tube rocket, so it weighs nothing. And it's got the tail cone aero pack on there. Maybe I'll put my L2200 in there at some point. But uh, yeah, so Midwest power in. Let's do it. The left side is clear. Blow the left, fly the right. Yeah, a long time ago I built a uh, yeah, little wire. I turned a plastic bowling pin into a rocket. I put little things that had a C5 next? Oh, I don't know. Oh, C6, sorry. I couldn't see the 6 sign. It blended in with the corn. Yeah, he put his igniter in. All right. Taylor Jesse, all the way from Kansas City, is flying his wet banana. It's scratch built. He says it's a heads up rocket, so if Taylor says it's a heads up rocket, I would pay attention. Uh, on an H148, Oh, it's got a rear ejection. Of course it's a heads-up rocket. Going in five, four, three, two, one. 
Yep. Might need a little more weight in the nose cone. Could be the V2's final ride here. <laughs> we'll see. David was like, you put a ton of grease at the forward end? I was like, yes, actually. It's bad. It'll be fine. That's funny that I came to that same conclusion. Basically, but, you're the same as an actual rocket scientist. Except I'm just spitballing. No, no, you knew. <laughs> you did some real science to get to that conclusion. All right, out on F3, Braden Carlson from Boise, Idaho. Yes, you heard that right. He came all the way out from Boise, Idaho. Flying... What the hell does that say? <laughs> Schnickelpootsie? Close enough. Schnickelpootsie. <laughs> Six foot tall, M as in Mary, 2500. Fire up the wagon. Here we go. F3. F3. It's a giant V2 on an M2500. It's going in five, four, three, two, one. All right, pad managers, load the left. Did that view away cell? Stepping out to the UA cell for John Clifton from Smyrna, Georgia. His flying is seven. New record, 12,500 feet. All right, Taylor, so I stopped recording yesterday, so let's update the people. Where did we leave off? Uh, the V2 landing, that oh. was it. We, we had your banana. Oh, I didn't, I filmed your little John, but I didn't, we didn't talk about it. Uh, yeah, we flew, or I flew a little John on a, Old Animal Motor Works J440, Blue Baboon. Oh yeah, he got it last year. And it worked so well that we got more old AMW so. Yeah, it's an AMW type weekend. Yeah, I'm so stoked. I, my good friend Jim Scarpine has an awesome collection of everything you could ever imagine. And he had two of my, one of my dream motors I wanted to fly since I was like 12. The K555 Skidmark. And another K555 skid mark, and he gave me a 29mm Synerjet motor. And if you're pretty new to Rockstar, you probably don't know what either one of those companies are. Well, I guess AMW, you know, but AMW used to make motors. That's why it's Animal Motor really Works. Motors. Yeah, awesome motors. So, I'm super excited for that. So, Jim happens to see this. Thanks, Jim. We're super, super excited about those motors. But, uh, yeah, I can't fly Sparkies in Idaho, so Taylor's just gonna. Uh, my Taylor's house is now my secondary house, so it's basically <laughs> <laughs> the anti gravity group headquarters. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, we gotta yeah, Braden, Braden keeps buying more stuff and gets sent to my house. Yeah, he can't take it home. And I don't consult him about it either. <laughs> like, he's just rocking these motors and all the stuff I buy. Uh, you take them, thanks. Hey, if it fits in the Subi, and it goes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah see that too. that's good financially too. <laughs> oh yeah, the case. Oh, we got a thing. We see, this is where the anti gravity group stuff comes in handy because we just keep group buying things. Shout out to Tim from Wildman once again, as always. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Okay, That's who's talking right now. She's got a kitty cat with her. 98, 76, 80. So now we have 76, 80, 10, 240, and 15, 360 access. Which is pretty much all you need. M4500 Super Thunder V2? Yeah. I think that's what needs to happen. I had an M4500 5 inch Punisher. I think mine would do it. I do. I think they take the N1000 too. I'm just a little bit scared. I like the rocket and I don't want to lose it. The M4500 would be good. You don't think that N1000 would? I think it'd be good also. It's it's only in like transonic or supersonic for like 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. 
Those fins are in good shape. And it's a good shape. I see ATAC goes really good, so. You know it's good. So I'm gonna probably take this camera around and go film some people's rockets and you stuff. You need to fly a rocket, buddy. I'm gonna try to fly a rocket. All right, what are we going with? J135. How's it gonna go? I don't know. 85? You don't think it's gonna do 10 now? It might. Dude, you got reduced base drag there. And everything carbon fiber goes fast and high. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. This is the weekend for Longbirds, folks. Great weather. All right, yes, I'm back in Boise, Idaho on probably one of the last nice warm days of the year. It's been getting cold and I came back to 65, but it's supposed to be back down to the 40s next week. So anyway, Midwest Power was a great time and I just wanted to make a quick announcement. Patreon now has a $1 tier and you still get the same behind the scenes pictures and videos and everything as every other Patreon tier. The only thing is you can't enter in to the quarterly caption contest that gives you the opportunity to win the $100 rocket kit. There's a lot of people that have expressed interest in supporting the channel and at a dollar a month, I feel like we've uh, offered that opportunity to a lot more people. I appreciate everyone watching as usual, but for those who would like to support and get the behind the scenes look at everything, $1 a month is now an option. And I know the launch videos are kind of the fan favorite among everything and I love doing the build videos and working on my own projects, but the launch videos are what a lot of people tune in for and they are very expensive to produce between hotels and flying and everything this is easily what i spent the most money on last year and this year for creating content for this channel obviously i don't expect to turn a profit but uh every little bit helps and if everybody watching this video right now chipped in a dollar it would make it uh, way more feasible to be traveling a lot more and cover a lot more big launches it sounds like there's a frog in my yard and speaking of patreon the full midwest power video is live on patreon right now so so if for no other reason to spend that dollar you can go see the full ad free midwest power video on patreon right now patreon.com slash rocket vlogs thank you guys so much thank you to tim the wild man layer for putting on an awesome launch out there everybody at quad cities rocket society for doing the same thank you to jim scarpine for uh hooking us up with those amw motors and he gave me and shane and taylor each a k motor for helping him fly a rocket Jim's been a longtime supporter of me in this hobby and a bunch of young people who are who just wanted to fly rockets but didn't really have the means to. He's been keeping that going for a long time. Jim's a good guy. Overall, Midwest Power was everything I thought it would be when I couldn't afford to go when I was 13. So thank you all for making it possible for me to be there and I hope you enjoy the video. The next few channel releases are of course going to be the free versions of the Midwest Power video broken up to however many parts it's going to take. And after that, December is here, which means as much rocket building as possible. For now, I will see you in the next video. Have a good night.